What's up, everybody? So, uh, I was just sitting here after I did this read, right? And I'm listening to uh, another reader that I like. Because I've been listening to tarot readings, too. I don't give a shit. Um, who cares? Anyways, so... I used to have this little quirk. And whenever somebody would say something like vulgar or that I didn't like or whatever... Um, I'd be like, oh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? And I was just literally, <laughs> I was literally thinking about, like, these these men out here trying to take me out. And I'm like, I thought that. I was all, you kiss your mother with that mouth? And I was like, oh, wait, your mother taught you everything you knew. So, like, bruh, did your mother kiss her mother with that mouth? Or is this, like, a, a family affair, bro? Because now I'm hearing that song, Family Affair, in my head. But... I also got another question. I got a, I got a question. I got a question, teacher. So, it's all kind of starting to come together now. For uh, my ex that's a Pisces, I'm going to put it that way. Okay. And y'all ain't going to be able to get me for slander because I have quite a few exes that are Pisces. Pisces and Scorpio seem to be like my... Um, my thing, dude. Like, I swear I've dated so many Pisces and Scorpios. It's not even freaking funny. Uh, but, so Pisces. My ex, Pisces. Did you know that I know that you purposely put that woman in jail to get that, um, what do you call them? Uh, power of attorney on her? Did you know that I know that? I wonder how her children would feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's so that's your deal. You poison people. You get them addicted to drugs. All this other shit, and then you steal everything out from under them and let them take. Then you take advantage of these women. You take all their fucking shit. So that's so that's your scandal. You and your baby mama and your, as I read in that story, your your hitman family that you train, like you literally think that you've trained this army of fucking hitman i read your story bruh i read your story and it was actually kind of dumb um so i'm gonna guess you you get that creative writing skill energy from all the divine beings that you suck the life out of or kill you freaking weirdo um but anyways i thought that shit was hella crazy and then while while people are trying to text me oh i love you oh i miss you da, da, da. Yeah, you don't miss me bitch you you trying to kill me i ain't dumb i've been knowing you're trying to kill me bro why do you think i won't talk to you so just for the the feds out there like yeah this fool has poisoned me um in the past has beaten me damn near to death i don't even know how many times to count and um now this fuck boy over here is trying to get get me lured back in so that he can finish the job so let's be real is it for that for that front that you can't pay back was that what the front was for to take me out damn bro and i know you're working with my other ex and his mama let's be real about it though and then you regretted your decision because um Y'all are going to go down for that shit, bro. And if you don't, I'm going to be... I Actually, I won't be shocked because I swear to God, I can't even count how many times I've watched other people go down for your shit, including me, bro, while you sat there and helped everybody call CPS and get my kids taken away in the past. You think I'm dumb. I know what all y'all are doing. And you're, you're all over there. Um, while I was best friends with the person, you guys have had your little uh, relationship, your fuck buddy situation for God knows how long years bruh years that i haven't known about years bruh so that being said there i was right <laughs> and then you go for like these these younger girls because you always go for the ones that look younger for one because um because you're a pedo dude you're an undercover pedo you like little girls let's just be real i'm gonna put your shit the fuck out there because you want to keep screwing with me and um for two because younger girls are easier to manipulate into doing shit. You either go for the young ones or the dumb ones. I peep your game, bruh. I peep your game. I'm an analyzer. I analyze everything. 
Don't be trying to send your crusty, musty, dusty ass friends at me, bruh. You or my other ex, little nasties. Y'all are nasty people, bruh. Trying to send people at me. Oh, I love you. Oh, did it, did it, did it. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Because the second that that person steps in my physical vicinity, I'm going to know that they're full of as much bullshit as you. Whether their eyes are brown and I see that they're full of shit or not, I'm going to know that you're doing it, bruh. So you better back the fuck up because... On a real tip, I meant to wake the masses. Regardless, you want to sit back and laugh. Keep keep laughing it up, Chuckles, because your ass going to be laughing all the way to fucking prison, fucking around and finding out, dude. You better leave me alone and stay the fuck away from my house because if you think I don't know that y'all are stalking me and shit, if you think I didn't watch my other ex-boyfriend that you're working behind the scenes with walk out from behind the bushes of my neighbor's house, clear down my court... Y'all are, y'all are fucking tripping, bruh, if you think I didn't watch that. If you think I didn't literally see him and his wife at the grocery store, like, bro, you were standing behind me, bro. You, you couldn't hide, but then again, you're tall as fuck, and your big ass ain't hiding from shit. I don't trust none of y'all. Y'all better stay the fuck away from me, the fuck away from my kids, and the fuck away from my family. You understand me? Because I don't have a man here, but I'm going to tell you what, I will fight you like a man. Don't play with me, don't step up on my property, and you better leave my kids the fuck alone. You understand me? Good, I'm glad we got that clear. Now go mind your business and worry about your own life and yourself and your kids because one of y'all's kids is wanting to commit suicide right now.